Hi, Kimining. Hey, Kimining. Hi. Good morning. How are you, Kimining? Hi, Kimining. Hi. Hi, Kimining. Okay, I'm going to get. What's the bear? Kikiri, Kikiri. Kikiri, the Where's my knife, the bee? Where's my good knife, the bee? Oh, my guinea. Oh, my guinea. Damn it, the good paw is fucking dirty too. Hi, Gimini. <laughs> Riley's, Riley's having a Gimini. Um, I can't find shit, dude. What happened, Kikili, Willy, me What did you drop under there? Hello, good morning. Give me a second. Say, there's no second. Just come get me now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're so fussy. There's no seconds in Mother World. It's gonna turn for five minutes. Hello, Kimini. Oh, my hand. You remember when I told you I fucked up my hand in RGB? It still hurts. <laughs> what happened? Are you done? We're not going outside, Debbie. It's so early. We're gonna eat um um right now. What? You gonna cry? We're not going outside. You don't even have your shoes. And where's your shoes? Your shoes? Where's your shoes then? Get your shoes. Um. Yeah, they, I, the, with the waist trainer, I do um, four hours high, four hours low, but I only wear this. Oh my God, my kids are out of control. Um, I only wear this. Um, Bay! I'm about to put that title. I'm gonna be like single mom mornings. <laughs> Hold on, Daddy's coming very slowly, but surely he'll be here. Um, and then um, I wear this one like throughout my day, whatever it is I'm doing. But when I go to the gym, I wear another one. That one covers my whole stomach and back. Um, and it makes me sweat a lot more. No, we're not going outside. You need your shoes. And it's so early. Why? Dude, my mom used to get mad at us when we used to go out early in the morning outside. Because um, she 
she would think she would tell us that the neighbors are probably still sleeping and that we're allowed. She already ate grapes. You want to go outside? Put your shoes on and your shirt and your shorts. Where's your shirt? Where's your shorts? Huh? You're gonna be a naked baby outside? You can't be a naked baby outside. There's no naked babies allowed outside. Did you know that? Are you here? All right. Um, Aki Manning. Uh, yeah, so I, um, I uh, wear the other one when I if, I, if I'm going out and stuff, I wear a half one that has the legs and it goes up to here. But I just try to do eight hours. This one, I barely started doing doing it. When was it? Maybe like two weeks ago. I started doing it, um, tried to do it eight hours. Um, but um, sometimes I'll do four hours. But uh, I've just been trying to get in a habit of just wearing it. Like, just wake up and put it on. And then I take it off right before I'm about to go live. Um, it makes my stomach super, super um, snatched. Um, even when I take it off, um, I, I should, I, I'm going to get a measuring, measuring little thing. Because when I do take it off, you'll see how um, thinner my waist starts getting. Um, the more time that I put it on and get into a habit, the more um, I'm starting to see results. But um, it is uh, on the. It is sometimes uncomfortable, but I feel like um, you. It has to be. I guess you can say. Um, I think I'm just so used to wearing them that um, I just I, I like force myself to kind of to to. Um, be okay but it does help my posture a lot okay morning ramp round is it it's from karina lily it's from karina lily and um you can use code indelible i'm going to the gym today um so i'll show you the faca that i wear when i go to the gym i'll just be wearing this one when i'm cooking cleaning hanging out with the kids watching the kids play outside just wearing it throughout the whole house. If I'm working at the warehouse, I wear this one. But I'm waiting for my babysitter to message me back because we have to go to Phoenix to pick up um, a, more makeup that we just ordered. Um, and um, and then um, after we're done there, I'm trying, or before, I'm trying to go to the gym and then go pick up the boxes and then go to the warehouse and unload. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I'm waiting for my babysitter to reply, but if she doesn't reply, then I would probably go to the gym by myself. I haven't been to the gym. It's been probably like three weeks, girl. And I've been telling, I was telling Ryan yesterday, like, I really, really need to go to the gym. Like, I'm not, I want to see results faster than what I'm doing right now. I don't have eggs this morning, so I was like, when am I going to make these kids? What am I going to make these kids? I don't, I'm not going to eat. Oh my goodness. Duffy. Hold on.
my goodness. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> just wants to go out there so bad uh congratulations on your weight loss you're doing a great job thank you i want chili cheese fries i uh, that's the only thing that i have right now because um i don't have any eggs <laughs> i make breakfast a lot breakfast is like the the for sure cooked meal in this house um and then lunch not really <laughs> um dinner um is another um another uh, meal that we usually always make I don't know about lunch. I don't know why I don't make lunch. I can't picture myself making lunch too. I'm like, what the hell? Just wait for dinner. I'm like, you want some nuggets? You want some pizza roll? <laughs> uh, my dad used to make us this kids. He called it papas and chili. We could put it in the flour tortilla. Really? My dad used to make this for me too. Um, not my real dad, but my stepdad. He used to make us chili cheese fries all the time. And I loved them. I was so obsessed with them. Uh, why am I smelling cheese fries while working? <laughs> can I drink it if I have acid reflux? Yes, you can drink it, mama. I would ask your doctor, but I feel like I've... I um, usually um, share it from work. Thank you so much for sharing my love. Whoa. I can't wait for the gym after this baby, but it's in September. Yeah, I'm I'm ready to go back to the gym. I was ready to go back a while ago, but Ryan's very hard to convince. I have to be like desperately sad. And then he's like, all right, fine, let's go to the gym. <laughs> and I'm like, why do I have to wait forever? And before I used to not wait for him, I used to just be like, I'm going to the gym, fuck it. Like he wasn't into it. Um but then um, he started to become a little into it. So I was like, okay, cool. This is fine. We both get to go. I'm like, and, and, and we both get to, um, you know, enjoy uh, our workout and be healthy and feel good about ourselves. But that shit did not last. <laughs> it did not last very long. <laughs> but um, I guess that's the great thing about ketones. You're able to kind of um, still burn fat without going to the gym. So I'm making the kids um, these potatoes. They'll wake up soon. Hopefully they don't wake up in attitude, girl, because when my kids wake up with attitude, oh my God, it's World War Three in this household. <laughs> it's like, uh, the kids wake up with attitude, ooh, we're, it's going down, it's going down. I don't know, it kind of seems like one of those days that the kids will wake up with attitude because Debbie is already kind of trying it. I don't know why he wants to be outside, girl. He's right here, just standing, waiting for us to go outside with him. I'm like, I'm making breakfast. It's morning. <laughs> He's just standing out there with the slippers looking at the Akimani. He's like this. <laughs> He's walking around with the slippers looking around. I'm like, why? Why did you want to go out there and do that? <laughs> I don't understand. So I put pepper and then I put this seasoning, which is called seasoned salt. I love this one. And then Peppa. Who put the Peppa and the apple juice? All right. And then um, I'm going to make my ketones right now. So uh, let's get to it. Yes. Me and my husband don't eat breakfast. We'll probably eat breakfast once out of the week maybe. Um, usually I make my kids food and then we'll skip and we'll just drink our ketones. I don't get hungry. The ketones curve my appetite. Um, and then also they give me energy and um, they promote focus. Um, there's so much stuff that it's good for that I kind of don't feel like I need to eat breakfast. Um, before, when I was at my biggest, which was 198, bitch, my body was like dating carbs, bitch. I'm telling you, my body was dating carbs and I was eating hella carbs so when i first started doing my ketones i had to eat breakfast because i was like these ketones ain't ain't cutting it and at first when you first start if your body's so used to taking intaking carbs it's gonna get hungry it's gonna get hungry it's gonna be uncomfortable because you know your body's so used to it so what i would do 
in the morning, I would drink a protein, a protein shake, and that would be it. I would get full from the protein shake, drink my ketones after my protein shake, and then slowly I started noticing that I wasn't able to finish my protein shake. Or um, at one point I noticed that I didn't want my protein shake, that I just wanted my ketones. So that's how I did my transition a lot more easier. So if you're struggling like, fuck, I feel more hungry when I drink my ketones, a lot of people tell me that. They're like, um, I feel more hungry, especially when they're first starting. Um, you're gonna feel like that because your body's in, in, burning fat faster and your body is used to using carbs as energy. So when you're in ketosis, your body's gonna burn your fat for energy. It's not gonna burn any carbs for energy. Um, protein is just gonna burn your fat. Most of the time, your body runs on carbs being burned. Very rarely do you burn protein to give you energy, depending on how your diet is. Um, and then very rare to literally none do you ever burn your fat, your stubborn fat for um, energy. So that's what ketosis is. When you get your body in a stage of ketosis, you're gonna you're burning fat as energy. Um, I need some more boxes, Nan. Waist trainer, have you have them ready for postpartum? Yes. Um, this one is not good for postpartum. I feel like the one that I got that was really good was an Amazon. Um, I wore that one for like a week, which was a postpartum one. Um, and then after that, I got to a traditional. I started at a 3X. I, the, um, this one is a medium. The one that I wear to the gym is a medium. The one that I wear under my clothes, like if I'm going out, under a dress, under... Um, like anytime I go out, most of the time I wear a faja under everything. Um, uh, if I'm going to an event, um, all the time I'm wearing a faja. There's not a time that I'm not wearing a faja. The only time I didn't wear a faja was that time we went to a strip club with um, Rob and Sylvia. And I was wearing that white dress and it was open right here. And I couldn't wear the faja with that shit. I could not wear the faja with that shit. So oh, okay. th th that's the only time that I didn't wear a faja. Um, so I started at a 3X and now for the regular Fajas, I'm like a size small. For the waist trainers, size medium, like this one, a medium. And then um, the one that I wear to work out, it's like a big old vest. It's like almost like a vest in the inside. It feels different. Like this one, this has like this wrap that you can go. And this, I enhance my um, waist more with it. I think I should be getting a small here soon. Because you'll notice that as soon as these start touching, you want to be able to um, get to the point where this gets on this side, like all the way over here. Um, me, this is really tight. Like for me, this is really tight. At uh, one point, I will get to the point that it, I, I get it all the way over here. I, I am like getting really close. I feel like this is comfortable for me and it's still like tight. Um, I noticed that if I do it too tight, I, my ribs do get sore. This little area will get sore a little bit. Um, so that's why I take my time and kind of just go as I go. Um, and then once I get to this end, then that's when you want to start getting a size small. And then you'll start again, like over here. And then you'll keep um, tucking it and tucking it and tucking it the more. Uh, days you wear it, but this is as far as I've gotten. I feel like it's very comfortable for me um, And this also is at the this um, One right here is also at its last Like wrap it's like almost wrapped over here. That means that I wrapped it all the way So I'm really close and getting a size small here soon Yeah um, Let me add a little bit of oil because I don't think I added enough oil and I don't want the potatoes to start sticking. Um, are there specific times you eat or taking ketones? Yeah, there is. There's not specific, but there is kind of specific times. So when you first start, you want to drink your ketones two times a day. Every box that's in the website, which is pinned down below, every box that's in the website is meant for 10 days. So what you guys are going to do is basically for 10 days, it's called a 10-day challenge. For 10 days, you must commit to drinking your ketones twice a day 
um, trying not to eat for four hours after you drink them. So I'm gonna, it's nine o'clock right now. I'm gonna try to make it a goal to drink it by 9.30. Um, that way, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, at 1.30, I'm gonna be able to eat lunch. Most of the time, I'm not hungry. <laughs> so I will be like, all right, I'm fine, you know? Um, if I am hungry, I order, I make myself a wheat sandwich. Um, I uh, maybe eat a salad. Um, the protein cheese and crackers. Um, sometimes I skip and just do a protein shake. It's like, however you want to do it. And then, um, I drink my ketones again after that. And if you don't want to eat healthy like that, you can still eat whatever it is that you want to eat. If you're like, okay, I'm going to eat like, um, you know, like pasta or, I'm gonna eat a broccoli cheese soup or whatever it is that you wanna eat, you can eat it. But during those 10 days, you want to try to eat less, smaller portions. Um, don't cut your diet like, oh my God, I'm gonna go salad all day, you know, cause it's gonna be easier for you kind of to fall. But unless you wanna like really push yourself in those 10 days and eat healthy, treat your ketones twice a day. And then also out of those 10 days, go to the gym three to four days, three to four days. Again, you could do the most. You could go to the gym five days. You could go to the gym those ten, whole 10 days. But how I do it is that I try to do 10 days at a time. Um, and um, I, it helped me, I help my mind not get stressed out by like the amount of months I had ahead of me. When I was, when I started, it was 198. I was 198 pounds. I have four kids. Two of them, my first two, I had them back to back. I took a break for seven years. And then um, I met Ryan. Um, we had, uh, started, uh, had our baby. And then really like a year and a couple months later, I had my other baby. So um, I w it was back to back. Both of them were back to back as well. And I gained so much weight with my baby girl. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like when you're pregnant with a girl you gain a lot more weight i feel like i gained a lot more weight with um with uh riley so i was at 210 pounds when i was at the hospital with her after i got out i went to 198 pounds and then um started to drink my ketones shortly after like in june and i told myself i just want to lose 10 pounds a month 10 pounds a month june um, July, August, September, October. So it's about almost five months, four and a half, um, five months that I was able to lose 10 pounds, 10 pounds. And I, it helped my brain. It helped me understand. Um, a lot of people ask me, why does it only have 10 days? I'm like, cause you just got to do 10 days. The rest of the days of the month, you don't, your weight is not going to go back. It, you're burning fat. So it's going to stay. It's not like a detox or where you just lose water weight and you gain it back. Um, it takes me a while to gain my weight back, like a while to gain it back. Um, October, I got to 148, uh, which was 50 pounds. 198 from 148, I lost 50 pounds. Just drinking these twice a day. Not really eating healthy, but watching what I was eating. I wasn't going on a keto diet or anything. I personally don't know how to do that. Um, and I wasn't really exercising. I think I went to the gym, I wanna say like 10 times out of those five months because I just had a baby. I have a one-year-old. <laughs> um, I have my business. My kids are homeschooled. Um, we lived in California at the time and there was just no, not, a, not enough time for me to go to the gym. If it smells good, drink your ketones. I won't smell good for too long. <laughs> um, I'm still at 150, Sylvia. I'll go down to 148 again, 150, 151. Sometimes I kind of just maneuver through there. Um, it's just, I'm trying to get to 140. I'm trying to get to 140. So when I split it up my days, like 10 months at a, 10 months at a time, it kind of made me feel like, I mean, 10 days out of the month, it kind of made me feel less stressed. And it helps you enjoy your journey instead of being like, oh my God, it's not working. Oh my God, this. Oh my God, this. I'm going to do this. I need to do that. And you overwhelm yourself sometimes with the expectations. So you want to make sure you're coming in here with no expectations other than using the product and getting to know your body. I feel like those are the only expectations that you should have. Mama, do we have chili? 
chilling. Yeah. What the fuck are you? Um, I don't know. I only have this chili. Yeah, I guess I'll use this one. I've never used this. Oh, I've never used this brand, but I'm gonna use this brand. I don't make my own chili. I just get it from can. Sorry. You don't make it from scratch. No, I don't make it from scratch. Do you like chili fries? Okay, I'm like good because I'm not making anything else. <laughs> I'm like there's cereal right there. <laughs> Baby, give me a bowl and open those cans and dump it in the bowl, like a mixing bowl. Okay, the potatoes are basically done. Can you share with us what you would eat? What I'm planning to do is um, I'm planning to host little groups of classes so I can teach you guys. Um, one thing that I noticed that my followers um, struggle is what should I eat? What time do I drink it? I don't know anything about it. So what I was planning to do is um, probably host my first class after 4th of July. Uh, the class is free. Um, getting coached by me is free. Um, what I will do is only take a certain amount of people um, to a private group on Facebook, and then we would start a 10-day challenge. By the time you get in the group, you must have your 10-day challenge, though. That's the only thing that you would have to buy is your box of ketones. Um, if you're new, 10-day challenge, highly recommend. It's the first it's their first Viarty pack. Five years later, they finally came out with another Viarty pack, which is now available, which is the cocktail one. That's another priority pack, and it's on sale for $99 as well. For new customers, th those are the best ones to start because you get to try all the flavors. And there's half caffeine and half non-caffeine, so um, it gives you the ability to see the difference and stuff like that. I am so sensitive to caffeine, so when I ordered it, I ordered non-caffeine. They sent me caffeine, and I was so desperate to try it, so I was just like, okay, whatever. I tried it, and it didn't make me feel jittery. It didn't make me feel like... Oh my god, my freaking heart is about to like jump off my chest. Like, it's hurting. <laughs> um, I know I can't drink coffee, energy drinks. Like, I can't do that because I'll get anxiety because the caffeine is so high. I feel like this is more natural. Um, that it doesn't give me that kind of um, overwhelming caffeine feel. Um, so this one is charged, but there is um, some that are not charged. If you know the flavor you want and you're like, I want this flavor, I don't care. Um, I want a whole box of just strawberry peach. Those ones are 130. When I start the group, everybody that goes in there should have their box already in order to get in. Uh, after um, we get everybody settled in, then we'll start day one. And then I'll wake up with you guys and then I'll show you guys, this is what it, this is the good breakfast that you can eat that's good for you. Um, and um, if you want, you can skip breakfast and just drink your ketones like I'm doing but I'm gonna basically guide you for the 10 days and motivate you and push you. And if I have to do workout videos with you, I'm gonna have to do workout videos with you. I'm like, we're gonna have to do this to get that hurt. So let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that. Again, I would only be able to take a couple of people, not a couple of people, maybe like 50 people, so I can really focus on them. And then next, then I will have a next group. I will take everybody out of that group that already learned how to do things um, and then put you, and then bring another class so I can, focus my like really focus on those people that are wanting to take the 10 days serious yeah i still ate carbs amanda i never really changed my diet um i but i i don't drink soda i don't like sweets i don't like chocolate so that's something i'm a little bit different i don't like tortilla very much I like um i don't like the i don't like that soft tortilla um corn tortilla i'm okay with but I can eat without having a tortilla, like, you know, right? The only thing that I feel like I had to change a lot um, was junk food. I, hamburgers, pizza, like Chinese food, like all those stuff is a, what I had to break is those habits. And it's so much easier just to go to McDonald's right now to get breakfast, you know? Amen. And it's more convenient. Um, put it in the microwave for like five minutes. This could be in the microwave? Yeah. Hi, good morning. From um, so that was a bad habit that I had. Everybody has their own bad habits. Ryan used to drink three sodas a day, bitch. <laughs> she, he used to drink three sodas a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
three sodas. Sometimes if you wanted to sneak in a soda, he would sneak in a soda like between those. Um, and now he doesn't drink any soda. If he does drink a soda, it will be full. Like I always find them full, which that never happened. How many minutes? Um, five, I already... The babysitter says she's not feeling good. So, what are we gonna do? Yeah. You wanna stir it in water. 12 to 16 ounces of water. It is a powder form, so you just pour it in there and shake it. Um, the class with you would be amazing. I know, I feel like it would be perfect. Um, so what's the 10 days for? The 10 days for, that's, that's, that's the amount of time that you have to drink your ketones for. Every box has 20 packets. Sorry, my internet went down. Um, I don't drink soda at all. I don't like the taste of it, Luana. I don't even drink zero. Carla, thank you so much for rewatching that video. Can you guys see me? I have a babysitter that comes at night. It's just, um, I, I have a morning one that randomly comes in the morning if I um, need to run errands. Amanda, the 10 days is the, the amount of time you have to commit to drink your ketones. So it's 10 days, you drink your ketones, those, for those 10 days you drink it twice, you go to the gym three days out of those 10 days, and after you drink your ketones, don't eat for three to four hours. After those three to four hours, you can eat something, um, try to, you don't have to change what you eat, but the amount that you eat, yes. You can't have five tacos anymore, bitch. You gotta have to have one. You're gonna have to have two. Or three. No, two. Yesterday we went out to eat, the Bidia tacos, bitch. I had three. <laughs> um, I would have had four. Those are fire. I would have had four or at least three. I, I had one. I had, three I had one <laughs> birria taco. One birria taco. That's what I'm saying. You have to start, like, you don't have to change when you, your diet too much. Just the amount that you're intaking. The amount that you're intaking. Just for 10 days. You just got to watch what you're eating for 10 days. And then after those 10 days, um, you can go and do another 10 day or you can wait for your next month's box to be sent. You can get like a subscription sent. Um, you can't eat breakfast. I don't. I don't ever eat breakfast. We like, did when we first started. Yeah, we when we first started, we did um, eat uh, breakfast or a protein shake. Yeah. Because, again, our body was so used to taking, in, like, taking um, carbs, so we could not go without breakfast. Um, if you're not a breakfast person, just drink your ketones. You'll be fine. Um... Once you get into uh, progress, you'll notice that you're not gonna wanna eat breakfast. Me and Ryan never eat breakfast. We'll just drink our ketones and that's it. We'll you have a fasting. Yeah, three to four hours after you drink this, you can't eat. So keep yourself busy. If you wanna amplify your ketones, do a little workout. Um, we're gonna go to the gym right now. Um, so um, I feel like that amplifies your ketones. Once your body is in ketosis, um, an hour after you drink this, your body will go into ketosis. That's what I'm saying. Three to four hours, don't eat. Because if you decide that you want to eat chips, you're going to get kicked out of ketosis. If you decide to eat, ju drink juice, you're going to get kicked out of ketosis. So that you literally have to just drink water and focus your mind for three to four hours. Don't eat after you drink it. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be able to eat again at 1.30. And then when 1.30 or 2 comes, I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat small if i go to subway uh me and ryan used to order the longer subway and now we ordered the kid size subway kid size subway a little amount of the chips and water we only drink water yeah um there the chili's about to be cooked but i will start serving the kids you're like i want to see the food i'm here for the food bitch not the ketones <laughs> don't tell me we're out of those plastic plates <laughs> They're not, baby. Where would they go? <laughs> Where they go? Because we're not washing the dishes. Oh, there, uh -huh. there's some right here. Mm. All right, I'm gonna take a minute. Um, um. 
Um, I don't need a good breakfast, Mama. I never liked breakfast very much. And my mom never gave me breakfast, so that's how I was raised. No breakfast for you. No breakfast for you, ma'am. I'm like, you guys are built different. You guys are built different. I'm like, over here? No. Very rarely did I eat breakfast growing up. I did never got, I, I would have to walk to school with my little sister every single day from second grade all the way to sixth grade. Um, and it was about like a 25 minute walk to my elementary. Bitch, I never got there in time for breakfast. I barely got in time there for to before the bell rang. And then I my first meal would be um, uh, lunch, which was always pizza. When I got home, mama wasn't home. <laughs> so sopas, um, hot pockets, that's what we ate. Drum noodles. Sandwiches, that's all we ate. And then my stepdad would get home at seven. <laughs> and that was it. They didn't make breakfast, they didn't make dinner. <laughs> and if he did make dinner, it was this, what I'm making right now. Let's see, I get the cheese out. Uh oh. Are you okay? What's wrong? Okay, mama. You oh were God. supposed to go back to sleep after you woke up. I know it. You know how he falls asleep with you in the um, bed after he wakes up? Yeah. He didn't this time, so he's like crybaby. I have four kids, and then my sister lives with me, and he, she has her son. And right now, my niece is um, staying with us um, for until 4th of July, I believe. So I have about seven kids. <laughs> Where's my queso? Oh no, this is all orange. Baby, we need to go grocery shopping. We don't have shit. What is this? Okay, we might have to use this one. What happened to the cheese? <sighs> All right. We're going to have to use, just use this cheese. Yes, come to the makeup class, Gabby. No, another Gabby. You guys are not having a good morning, huh? Okay. So this is how the chili cheese fries look. Papas con chile. Come get your food now. Um, we have to call the school because Missy already finished all her assignments for the year. Oh, is she graduating? She graduating. She graduating. She's certified? She's certified. Wow. I laugh when she um, shows us toys wherever and says, excuse the mess. I admire them so much. Do you have a maid? Your house is always spotless. Um, no. <laughs> I don't have a maid. <laughs> Our house is dirty. Let me show you my house, mama. No. <laughs> I'm like, let me show you my house. <laughs> like, let me show you my backyard right now. We had a um, Father's Day barbecue. That backyard is still fucked up. I was actually been looking for um, a house cleaner. <laughs> My kitchen, always. I always try to keep my kitchen clean. By the living room. But the living room, the second yeah. living room, our bedroom, there's a bunch of water bottles. <laughs> um, is Dubby going to like this, baby? I never, I don't think. I don't think too. All right. This is it? Yeah. I think that's enough place for everybody. Um, do your sister live with you? Yeah, she lives with us um, for right now. 
Um, she um, was going. She was. She didn't really. She didn't like Oregon too much, and she went through a lot of stuff over there with her ex. Um, same shit, different story. You know, abusive, everything like that. We. I feel like all my sisters. We are. We have been in an abusive relationship. All of us, we were, in a, we were at one point in an abusive relationship. All of us have left our abusers, but we still have that thing all in common. I think it's because what we saw my mom go through, kind of. Yeah. Um, I was wondering when going to the makeup class are are the people going putting makeup on their face during class? Yes, you will put makeup on your on yourself. Oh God! All right, let me drink my ketones, friends. It's almost nine thirty. Um, but yeah, that is basically breakfast for today. I usually make eggs and so, but like I said, I need to go grocery shopping. I have no eggs. I have nothing. So does it taste good? Why are you eating it with a spoon, baby? You don't want a fork? No, you want a scoop? Damn! <laughs> yeah, um, here's Devi. He's a grump. Devi, say hi. Devi, say hi. Oh my goodness, he's a no. Devi, say hi, Devi. He's a grump, I'm telling you. My kids are all grumpy this morning. Huh? Devi. Say hi, Debbie. Debbie. Debbie, look. Look, Debbie. And where were you? Huh? Finding toys. Finding toy? Making a mess over there? A quiet baby is the most dangerous baby. <laughs> Debbie, come say hi. Say hi. You don't want to say hi? Why you don't want to say hi, my friends? You need help? I help. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you wanna go Mimi? You wanna take a nap? See? Sí. You wanna go Mimi? Come on, let's go Mimi. Okay, then eat your food now. But it's a little Debbie blanket. Is this is Debbie. Yeah, my, uh, <laughs> it does say Debbie. One of our followers sent it to us. I think this one was our admin, wasn't it? I want to say it was our admin. It says Debbie, D O V I E, Debbie. He's gonna try to eat by himself. He doesn't like us when he doesn't like it when we help him. Is Dylan awake? Are you gonna eat? What are you doing over there then? <laughs> over here. Yeah, Dylan's awake. Dylan. <laughs> and then this is my daughter. <laughs> and then I have my baby girl. I keep eating! Hi! Dylan! What's your brother? Say Dylan! What's that? Here. <laughs> There's my baby girl. Tubby? Ya. Ya calmate ya. Vas a comer? Vamos a comer ya. Andale. Um, do you have, uh, yeah, we had fun last night, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like it was, we were going to go to the bar after, but then I was like, let's just go home. <sighs> it's his nickname, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. He has another big little desire, because he's really want it. I got it. <laughs> Pass in my ketones. Yeah, they're not. That is like 15 bunches. Um, they don't have um, promo codes. They just, um, they have referral. Like, who referred you? You could just put Lola voice. Elias is his real name. <coughs> Elias Kingston voice. Yeah. Huh, Elias? Elias? He won't answer. He won't answer to Elias, though. So. We fucked up. <laughs> but we're going to homeschool him, so I don't think anybody else should. I don't know why he should not. Why it would be important. He's a Debbie. Everybody thinks his name is Debbie. And every time we go anywhere or he takes a class or 
he does anything, they'll ask him, what's his, what's his name? And I will say, his name is Debbie. And they'll look at me like, I'm like, yeah, Debbie. <laughs> and the little kids, Debbie? Isn't that a girl name? <laughs> I'm like, no, Debbie. <laughs> and then when he's bad, we call him Dovster. Like right now, he's Dovster. Haunt Dovster. <laughs> All right, let's go, Mimi. Come on. Then <laughs> cometelo ya. Come on, mom. One. Two. Okay, it's time to call Mimi. Yeah. Yes, come on. Then come on, I'm, I'm. Sorry, I have to like frighten my kids. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to go there. <laughs> He'll be like, I, I can't. Like, I can't. I have to. Mm. If he doesn't eat, it's like a pet peeve of mine. If my kids, my, we're still in. If my kids don't come and eat and they don't eat what I made, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> Dylan! And then my oldest son. I know, right? Mm. It's good, huh? Don't underestimate this. Baddy, yaddy, 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 yaddy. I know how to cook. <laughs> I'm like, it's from a cat, but I know how to cook. <laughs> oh, Dippy. He does like the potatoes only. Yeah, okay. Potatoes only, okay. No beans. Um, yes, I'm Mexican. I'm literally. Puppy, your chili cheese fries are ready. I'm literally Mexican. <laughs> mm. Riley, get down from the stairs. Good morning. And then this is my oldest son. Good night. Good morning. I mean, good morning. <laughs> oh. me every morning. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, Gloria Morales is my real name. I'm like Dubby. Lola is not my real name. Yeah. I got my nickname when I used to rave. I used to be a, a rave girl. You guys want to see a picture of me when I was raving? You thought you're my name. I know when I first met Ryan, he didn't. I didn't tell him my real name either. Because I'm like, what? You're a stranger from the internet. Okay? First of all, I'm just kidding. So I told I always introduce myself like Lola. If they say like, where, um, what's your name? Like on the order or something, I always say Lola. I had it here somewhere. Um, I always say Lola, Lola, Lola. So when I met my husband, I told him, um, obviously my name is Lola. And then um, one time we were talking, and I was telling him like, I can't believe I I I was off work for a little bit. And I I'm gonna try to find it and show you guys tonight, but. I know it's in this vanity somewhere. Um, and I told him like, yeah, I haven't went to work and then I went work and I forgot my password and I had to reset my password. So here I am fucking late resetting my password and I'm like, get it together, Gloria. And I laughed about it. And then he was like, who's Gloria? And I'm like, um, me? <laughs> I was like, what do you think? And then I was like, what do you mean, who's Gloria? And I couldn't understand why he was saying that. And I was like, what do you mean, who's Gloria? Like, it's me. And he's like, your name is Gloria? And I was like, oh, shit. I forgot to tell this fool that my name is Gloria. <laughs> um, I have it in my vanity somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. Um, yeah, so I, di I, I didn't tell him. <laughs> For a while, I didn't tell him that my name was Gloria. <laughs> so if you see it on there, it says Gloria. Let me get this. <sighs> name is Ver. <laughs> Who made all these damn milkshakes? 
Oh God, somebody help. Somebody made milkshakes. Didn't even give me one. Somebody help. Um, what are you guys gonna clean right now? Huh? What are you gonna clean? The dining room dirty? Okay, the dining room. Make sure you sweep it too. Under. You have to move the bench and sweep under. Okay. Um, do you plan to have any more kids? No. Me and Brian can't have kids. Mm -mm. Brian got um, clipped, I guess you can say. I don't know how to say it. Snipped, clipped. Um, <laughs> v for short, and the kids call me Nana. <laughs> yeah, we can't have any more kids. We don't want to have any more kids, right? You threaten me? Huh? Remember when you threaten me? When? Before. After I had my baby? Yeah. Yeah, because I just fucking went through labor with no epidural. I'm going to threaten you, obviously. Yeah. You tried doing it. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, I am, that shit looked painful. <laughs> um, yeah, I made this tree on Amazon. It took me and Ryan's mom two hours. And they're just stickers. You made a video about it. it yeah, the video is was on my old TikTok before I got banned. But yeah, it's like, it's like, um little leaves going everywhere and it's just it's super easy to make honestly it was super easy to make the instructions it just takes some time but like if you want to do it i would definitely suggest you do it with somebody because after you're done sticking it all on you have to go one by one and peel it so you can actually see the mirror effect and the peeling is kind of sucky so it looks like a whole tree um Vasectomy? Yeah. Ryan got a vasectomy. Yeah. Yeah. Because I knew we were done. <sighs> we couldn't handle off this. Um, Sophia, what are you going to clean today? And the clothes, too? Yeah. Okay, make sure to sweep. Under the couch, there's stuff. Done the dumpsters in the room? Yeah. Riley, what are you going to clean? <laughs> You guys are like, not Riley cleaning. <laughs> Riley, get the broom. <laughs> Riley, what are you going to clean? <laughs> what are you going to clean? What are you going to clean, babe? Why is it taking forever for processing time? Is this thing stuck? I need to refresh. <laughs> No, refresh, to, refresh, refresh, refresh. I need to get that fucking mini fridge up there. You're gonna get the mini fridge up there? Yeah, I, I know. We had to get a mini fridge upstairs because okay, um I'll clean um the kitchen and our room because our room needs cleaning. Oh okay. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna let you guys go. Oh not the baby cleaning. <laughs> I know. What are you gonna clean today, baby? You're gonna clean the kitchen? Who? Messi is doing the dining room. I can't hear you, puppy. One more time. Okay, um, make sure you take the trashes out. It has to be clean right today because I'm getting um, very frustrated with how dirty everything is. When you guys clean, you guys don't clean very good. You have to clean with your heart. Oh, not the heart. <laughs> Shut up, babe. You have to. You have to clean with your heart. You can't just pick up and be like, oh, okay, I see that the trash is still there, but I'm just going to ignore it. Pick it, pick it. Like putting those shoes in a pile, that's not really cleaning. That's... <laughs> That you're just putting it in the corner. You cleaning with your heart. You would take that to somebody's room, put it down very nicely, not throw it in their closet, or in their shoe basket. <laughs> throw it in their room and close the door. <laughs> that cannot happen. 
I know they be doing that with our shit. I be coming in, that's why my room is so dirty because they be throwing stuff that belongs to me in there. They don't put it away. They just put it in my room and close the door. I'm and like, when you fold it all nicely and then they just throw it in there and mess it. Yeah, I'm like, like fuck. I'm like, why did I ask my kids to clean? <laughs> Who did this? Yeah, you have to clean with your heart. <laughs> I'm going to tell my husband that. Good luck. Because they will clean like just to get it done. Like, okay, here. But when you do it with your heart, you go out of your way to be like, okay, let me put these shoes away all the way upstairs. <laughs> like, I can't. Like, my my kids don't clean with their hearts. <laughs> I have to tell them. You have to clean with your heart or else they will just be like, like my son, he's very tough. He's very tough cookie. He's a tough one. <laughs> Did you clean with your heart? I swear to God, your husband's gonna look at you like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, clean with passion, lol. <laughs> it's super half-assed. Yeah, and I have to like, and I feel bad for yelling at them for half-assing it. And look at this one. She's taking the toys out while someone's putting the toys in. <laughs> I'm like, it's me. It doesn't stop. It's me. Hey. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> See, actually, this belongs over here. <laughs> This is my toy. It belongs over here. Not both right here. Somebody help. It's stuck. <laughs> so if I start cleaning. Oh, no. It's stuck. <laughs> Somebody help. help. Somebody help. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. You got it. Go, <laughs> go, 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 go. So oh. you're not working. It's actually not working. <laughs> Somebody help. <laughs> I know the older you get, the smaller the house you want. <laughs> like when we were growing up, I was wanting, I wanted a two story house. I want wow, stairs. it's Buzz. Is that Buzz? You want to show them Buzz? See, this is Buzz. This is my secret admirer. I want them to be built like Buzz. Oh no, we're not working anymore. Only has one wing. <laughs> Only has one wing. <laughs> Damn. Take like that buzz out. Oh no, not buzz only having one wing. It's because it's put away. No, there's really no. <laughs> <laughs> The wing is actually missing. Who took its wing off? It's because he kept flying away. I had to break his wing. Uh-oh. He's too heavy for you, girl. Um... Yeah, my house has to be clean too in our cabin. Uh, if you want to get uh, twenty dollars today, um, you can clean the vanity too, okay. if you want. I guess we have a big house. We have seven rooms. <laughs> no, you're like, what? Yeah, we have seven. We have five actual rooms and then two office space. There's my vanity. Ow, what? Damn, girl. Holy hell. Um, this right here is like my vanity room. It's like a little um, kind of like lofty little office space. Um, it doesn't fully close. The kids can open it anytime. It sucks because when I, I'm in there doing something <laughs> like my, my uh, makeup videos, they will open it. That's why we have the second living room upstairs. And that living room, um, um, the kids go up there when we're doing our shows. And then... Um, Ryan's office is another room that's not included as a room, but that one actually has a door and it's more a long, narrow area, but it fits all his stuff. He enjoys it. And then um, the dining room area. I want to get another like um, another breakfast. Uh, Riley, Riley, come on. She doesn't understand. <laughs> I want to get another breakfast nook right here so we can all have breakfast right here and not have to go to the formal dining room. Um, like a little small in the corner or bar or something, but um, that's how the kitchen looks over here. <sighs> yeah, and we watch cartoons in the morning. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna, um, let's start working on everything that we need to work on, baby. All right. <laughs> Ready. 
This is a um, longer faja that I wear when I go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay. By singing the cleanup song. I know how you're like, clean it up. Do you not like the food? Miss Leah can't leave this corner like this. Yeah, we um, rent. This is the office room that I was talking about with Ryan. And then this is supposed to be the formal living room. Nope. But Ryan changed it to his after dark room. But we never use it on the After Dark shows. <laughs> and it, I got this pool table custom made for him. And it has his logo on it. And it's like a white um, wood on it. And it has a, uh, the, it's like almost like painted. And then this little thing right here, it holds his little bar area. I got this one from um, Home Goods. This one too is also from Home Goods. Um, and I kind of just did that little decor for him. Um, the black curtains, they used to not be black. They used to be bright mustard yellow. Um, he got the black uh, out curtains, um, Amazon. And then um, it's kind of like shaped weird. I don't know, when I first got the house, I was like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, that chimney like? It's very much outdated with this little um, thing. But then once he put everything in here and kind of made it his own room, it kind of looks like, you know, it blended in a lot more better. Um, but yeah. I'm hunked over. Chili chai rice sounds so good. Yeah, the kids already ate the chili chai rice. But yeah, there's still a lot of things I have to do. Like this little family one, I still have to print pictures to put it right there. That's another one that I got on Amazon. That one works really good. It doesn't come off the wall. Like the, I bought one that literally peeled off the wall. Remember the family one, babe? Upstairs. And then upstairs is right here is our room. And then there's steps to go down. And then the second living room is in there. And then on this side of the house is the kids' bedrooms. But I have to print pictures for that one. Miss Leah, that's the stuff that's on that um, desk or shelf or whatever that is, it can be there. Wait. Yeah. Huh? Why are you using that desk? What? Uh, it was in Miss Leah's room. Daddy's going to take it out today. I know. It's time to clean. <laughs> Um, I don't like saying the amount of rent that I pay because then people think I, people start saying things about me. Then I'll get that comment like, oh, if you're so rich, why don't you fix your teeth? <laughs> I'm like, because I spend my money on my kids and my house. <laughs> not on myself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so I try not to tell people how much I pay for rent, but definitely a lot more cheaper than California. And in California... Um, I was um, in a condo. What was it? It's like a townhome, I guess you can say. But we didn't have a backyard. It was four bedrooms, um, four bathrooms. It was in a very nice area. Um, there was other influencers that lived in that apartment complex, honestly. I've never went to an apartment complex where there was like multiple influencers. There's a lot of influencers that, um, that uh, lived there. Um, a lot of... I, I definitely didn't blend in there. Um, so um, after we were there for four years, we went into that apartment with no kids, no extra kids, just two, my two older kids. We came out of there with two more kids. <laughs> um, so in total of four kids. And then also um, I, was, um, I was shipping out of there too. So our business kept growing. So we made a decision that we had to get a house and then we also have to get a warehouse because we're all growing that house. For a while, that office that was Ryan's, that's where my office was. But it was so much like inventory that it wouldn't fit in there. 
It lasted one month and then we outgrew it. And then I was so upset because I told Ryan, why did we get this house? Why did we get this house if um, you said that we were gonna have the business here, you said that we were gonna save money, but um, I um, ended up realizing that I'm gonna just continue to grow without me even like noticing it. Sometimes you don't notice the growth that you're doing. Um, and when you go to my closet, any drawer, that's kind of empty. It doesn't have to, I used to have them organized with shorts, dresses, but now it's fucking over. And so it's just put it anywhere inside my drawers. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, you know, did the, did the, did it, it working from inside the house for a while. I agree that, um, um, got a warehouse. Um, we got approved right away for the warehouse. Um, the warehouse was literally super perfect for us. And then um, we moved Ryan's office there. And then the spare bedroom up there was his office. So we moved his stuff downstairs. So now we have a spare bed. We have two spare bedrooms, huh? She did eat, um, but I can feed her. Give me uh, some potatoes and stuff and babe, get her. Okay, then maybe just give her the potatoes, babe. Because <laughs> she put herself in there. Um, yeah um so yeah we just did that and now um i think we're gonna be staying here for three years and then we're gonna buy some land and build our home um i was planning to move to texas at one point but marijuana is not legalized over there yet so i don't really have time to wait so i plan to just do it here buy land here and build my home here oh oh sorry Mm-hmm. Yeah. So decoration wise, not so good. <laughs> I don't know how to decorate very well. <laughs> but I don't know. I try not to go too ham on it because I realize that this is not my house and you know, but I it, it's hard for me to decorate. It's very hard for me to decorate. Yeah. But anyways, friends, I'm gonna let you guys go. I have to start cleaning. Uh oh. I had a rough night with the babies. Uh, my babies still wake up at nighttime, so it's sometimes really hard in the mornings. I don't know how to decorate either. I know, right? <laughs> All right, but anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna start cleaning. I have to move a lot of things, and then I have to go to Phoenix to pick up some shipment. <laughs> it looks nice, okay. All right, I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm gonna go live tonight to do makeup. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do another video between that. Usually I do like a between video, but I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna take my, uh, I have a lot of things to do today. So if you guys wanna keep up with me and what I'm doing throughout my day, on my Instagram story is where I usually post what I'm doing throughout the day. Um, if you wanna see what workouts I'm gonna be doing on my Instagram story, it's indeliblebeautyshop.com. Um, dot com. Indeliblebeautyshop, not the dot com. Not the dot com. Um, if you guys want to um, check out the class that I'm doing for the makeup class in person to teach you guys how to do makeup, it is my first one. It's July 31st in the city of Anaheim, right across Disneyland. They built a new Westin Hotel. We are going to be there. It is going to be brunch, cocktails, um, uh, makeup. You're going to learn makeup. $100 worth of makeup is going to be provided to you, plus a little vanity mirror where you can see. Um, I am going to be giving you guys a free exclusive product um, that has not even been out in the store or anything. So we're really excited about that. We're going to have three special guests. It's going to be Anna, Esmeralda, and Yessi. They're going to be out there as well helping me. Um, if any reason I'm doing a step on makeup and, and you guys um, feel like the blend is not coming out right or that doesn't look like hers, you just raise your hand and one of the makeup artists will come to you and she will be able to um, guide you. So that way you don't get behind. And then once you get the hang of it and she gets it to look like what I'm doing, then she'll step down and then you'll be able to catch up to the next next um, part of the um, makeup tutorial. So I have three of them. They're really good at doing makeup. They all go live and do makeup videos. They're all influencers. So um, I'm super, super excited to have that support system there. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna have a cute backdrop. We're gonna be able to take pictures. You're gonna get a certificate. You gonna drink? Um, you gonna drink? <laughs> we got some signature drinks. And um, the um, 
The breakfast is like a brunch Mexican fajita breakfast, eggs, um, like kind of like that vibe. Um, and then also I am getting custom cookies made for you guys with our logo and then also custom stickers and custom um, hot Cheeto bags. Um, so you guys can take those as little party favors. Yeah, so okay, I'll see you guys tonight. We are gonna be doing pink eyeshadow look today. We've done blue, purple, green, yellow, red, and I'm gonna do pink, and then tomorrow I'll do black. Well, I'll have you guys vote on my Instagram if we could do pink today or black. The black one will look nice with that look that I've been doing with the silver glitter. Oh, what? What? What'd you say about my mom? I'm just kidding. Yes, Michelle, you should come by, my love. It's not, I was looking at all the makeup classes and trying to figure out what, what price point was. Um, some makeup classes that I've seen was like 200, 250, 300, 400. Some that deposits were 250. I'm like, holy fuck, that's expensive. Um, so I priced mine at 189 with a hundred dollars worth of uh, makeup. So you're basically paying $89 for the class, for drinks, for the brunch. Um, and you're getting a bunch of little goodies, get to meet me, take my class, and then um, we're taking pictures and the certificate. So I feel like it's definitely worth it. And there is a payment plan option. So July 31st is gonna be that class, my loves. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, Esmeralda, and who else? Anna? Yeah, Anna um, is a, a supreme in my academy. So I have an academy for people that wanna start their business. Um, and in my academy, I have 200 students. They all work online. And I help them by teaching them how to get followers, teaching them how to create content, um, giving them challenges like posting every single day, how to get followers, building a website, making a logo, how to ship from home and making labels, um, what systems to use, how much to charge for shipping, um, how to get PR, how to send PR. Um, I give them discount on makeup because I do have a bunch of vendors under me. I give them discounts for Lorella, Beauty Creations, Babella, Folklore, my brand. Um, I'm still trying to get into the works of other brands um, connecting, but um, they get 35 to 50% off um, retail price. So you, it's a good discount. And then what they do is resell the makeup um, for retail price. So everybody kind of has their own retail price and stuff like that. They have their own like, everybody's in different states, so they have their own um, way of charging you know but i give them a wholesale price and ship it out to them and then give them training and then once you graduate my academy we come out with a um your makeup line um any product that you want so right now anna is going to be working on a lip kit and then i have kelly who's working on a contour kit and i connect them to my um factories and, and design team and they design the product they want we get samples they like it we run with it we sell it the whole 200 students, I sell it, she sells it. So you have a lot of support selling and um, promoting the product that you came out. Sometimes when you come out with a product, that's the hardest thing is you're gonna be the only person pushing it. So to have a team that's pushing it too, um, to have a per, like a influencer, and I have all my other connections. So I then get the product, I will send it to um, Candy Lover, Beauty by Bianca, um, Must Be Cindy, um, I send them to like all my influencer friends and then up, at that point it's up to them if they open it and use it but um, it gets it gets it in front of everybody's eyes you know so um, that's the academy part of my business that I help other women start their business and I help them I support them coach them give them training what is the matter give me her baby and um on Sunday we're having a seminar so um, that's when enrollment start for that um, Come here, mama. Give me her. Um, that's when on uh, Sunday the enrollment start. I had it closed for about, I want to say six, seven months. I closed the academy because I had to have a new system start. I had to um, um, create a new system and um, new roster and new way of and hiring a teacher because I wasn't able to push, push, push every single time because I'm obviously homeschool my kids. I have my own business. I have my own orders. I have you guys that I have to pay attention to. And then I have um, my husband, obviously, and his business. And then um, I have the Prove It, which I'm trying to get people, coach people and, you know, go and work, like work out and focus on my health. 
and then I have my academy and then I have my events I have my meet and greets and then I have my makeup classes and then I get invited to other events and I always try to show support and go to other influencers events or when they're doing anything or launching anything like I'm always about like supporting 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 so I could get a little busy so I hired a teacher and I had to get um everything organized um so now i feel like it's a really good moment for us to get started to open enrollments again so on sunday at 6 p.m we will be on um, live um letting you guys know that enrollments are open and then doing a whole q a about how i started my business what my academy offers um like basically a day in our academy and you kind of get to learn everything <laughs> yeah Would you ever take on a graphic? I have my own graphic designers already. That um, they they already make everything for me. Like I make it, I make a little like sample of what I want, and then I send it to them, and they bring it to life. I have, I think I have like six designers right now. If one can't do it, I go to the next one, and then I go to the next one. Some of them are really good at website building, and some of them are good at um, boxes. Um, some of them are good at actual makeup products. Um, put it in the laundry room that one some of them are really good uh, uh makeup products it just depends some of them are good at merch um i have different ones i go to the mountain fitness it's a it's a, a gym that's only in arizona yeah but anyways friends, i will let you guys go i just want to give you guys some updates i will see you guys tonight for makeup and we're doing giveaways again um, I kind of want to do something fun for these giveaways, so I'll see what it do. Maybe we'll do the wallet one again where you get to win $100. Like, one wallet will have $100. Um, or we could do, like, the spinner. Or we could do um, deal or no deal. If you guys want to play deal or no deal, it's usually what my husband has. Um, five windows um, placed up. And those windows, when we call a winner, you get to pick a window. And then Ryan pulls the window. And then um, before he shows you and reveals what you got, he'll make an offer. Like... I'll give you $50 not to take the window or I'll give you $20 not to take the window. Um, and behind the window, you can win um, uh, um, a PR box or um, a, a, a bag that we usually do or it can have nothing. So sometimes when people pick the curtain, they will say um, no deal. And my husband will be like, OK, I'll offer you $50 not to take the curtain. And they'll be like, no, 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 I want the curtain. And then he'll flip the curtain over and it will say, like, no price. And it is literally the most hilarious thing that we will ever do. <laughs> I actually love doing it because <laughs> I really feel bad for the person that is like, I know that there's something behind that curtain. And then when it comes out that there's nothing in that curtain, everybody's like, oh, my fucking God. And it starts getting, like, more and more intense um, because everybody's looking for the bag. We'll show you the prizes. Like, we'll show you guys the prices that are behind there. Um, so you're like, oh my God, I hope I get this price. And then sometimes like you get the price and sometimes you don't get the price. And sometimes people do take the offer. Like, okay, I'll take the 50 bucks, not the curtain. And then we flip the curtain over and it would be like a suitcase or a duffel bag. And you're like, God damn it. <laughs> it is literally the best thing ever. But anyways, I will let you guys go. I am going to start cleaning. Look at them. I give me any. <laughs> They're so cute. See, what are you doing recording us? Just quit. Do you even know how to use a camera? Do you even know how to be an influencer? She's over here with Daddy. All right, ladies, I love you. I hope to see you guys later tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Bye.